Django Music Publisher is free open source software for music publishers. In this video we will explain how to deploy it. We'll be deploying DMP to Heroku. Heroku is a platform as a service provider. The free tier is enough for most small publishers. First, sign up with Heroku. You will have to verify your email and then log in. Next, go to dmp.matiarkolerich.com. Use links to access various parts of the documentation and videos. To continue with deployment, click on Install. The pre-installation wizard has five simple steps. In this step we have to enter the name of the publisher, making sure it contains no commas nor any non-ASCII characters, and select the PRO. Note that in some countries, there are separate societies for performing and mechanical rights, while in some, there is only one. Don't worry about it, if your society is listed, select it and proceed. If it is not, the explanation about why your society is not listed is linked in the last row above the form. In the second, you can select your mechanical and blanket sync society. Both are optional. Note that only the usual combinations are supported. In the third step, you have to enter your IPI name number. Note that DMP supports IPI name numbers with 10 or 11 digits in accordance with CWR 2.1 revision 8 and 2.2 revision 2. IPI base number is rarely used, but if you received it from your society, enter it in the second field. The third field is your CWR delivery code. It is assigned to you by a receiving society once you opt in for CWR delivery. If you don't have it, leave this field empty. You will be able to add it later through Heroku settings. But, in the meantime, CWR exports will not be available. Next is the Global Publishing Agreement template. DMP presumes that the share splits between the publisher and controlled writers are the same for all writers. The full explanation is beyond the scope of this tutorial. The defaults presented are based on your society settings from steps 1 and 2. You are advised not to change them, unless you absolutely know what you are doing. In the last step, all you have to do is accept the MIT license. You are the vendor for your instance of DMP and solely and completely responsible for resolving any issues that may arise. The actual deployment happens on Heroku. The data from pre-installation wizard was transferred. Give your app a name, and select the region. And enter an initial administrator password. Note that the password is in plain text. The first thing you should do in your app is to change the password. The default username is administrator. It is a good idea to have a separate administrator account, not to be used for everyday tasks. You can create as many users as you need in DMP. You can just scroll down and press on deploy app button. The deployment lasts about 2 minutes. Now, if you used the wizard and did not change anything in the form, the deployment should succeed. However, if you did change something, the deployment may fail if your settings make no sense. The reason for the failure will be visible in this log. If all goes well, there will be two buttons at the bottom. Let me go through app management briefly. The overview tab is what the name says, but we are more interested in activity tab. This is where all activities about your app are shown. Please note that this is not the application log, which is available under More button. Under the Settings tab, you must click on Reveal Config Vast to see DMP configuration. You can change any value or add new variables. It takes about a minute for them to become active. If you scroll down, you will see the Delete button at the bottom. You can always delete your app. Please note that all the data will be lost in that case. Let's open the app now, using the Open App button, and log in. Remember, the password was in plain text? The first thing we need to do is to change it. Use the link in the top right corner. You will have to enter the current password and the new one twice. The password validation rules are listed below the second field. Once you are done, press on the Change Password button in the bottom right corner. Next to Change Password is the link that leads to the user manual. DMP comes with no guarantees and no support. The documentation is where you find your answers, or our videos. This video is part of DMP series. DMP is also used for practical examples in our music publishing series. In Music Metadata Basics we explain basic terms. And, for those who need more than DMP, 
Latona might be the way to go. Bye-bye.